What's up y'all, it's your girl Stephanie. Today I have a summer beauty haul for y'all. A few weeks ago I went to Coachella with Revolve and they gifted me a bunch of really awesome products. They're not paying me to make this video, but when I received all these items, I really wanted to share these with y'all. And especially because I got gifted my girl Jen's festival beauty kit, her makeup and skincare essentials. I did not break into this while on the trip because I really wanted to unbox it, but I do know a lot of products uh, that are in here. So I just wanna share this with y'all. You know, it's summertime. You really do have to switch up some of your skincare as well as makeup. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. Before we really get into it, I'm just gonna mention what's on my lips right now it's brand new from Givenchy it is Le Rouge liquid in 309 it's a new liquid lipstick by them it looks like a regular lipstick but if you just twist it product comes out and the applicator is kind of like this fuzzy tear dropped shape little thing it actually goes on really well if you do a nice thin layer like I did on my lips now it looks more like a stain, it's more matte. You could also build it up so it looks a little bit juicier. I just went to the launch brunch yesterday, tried it on a few colors, and I'm really enjoying it so far, clearly, because I'm wearing it for this video. So yeah, just wanna give that one a little shout out. All right, I've been waiting to break into this box. I really wanted to uh, at Coachella, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save it for the video. This is still available online, by the way. So we have a nice revolve box. There's some skincare, hair care, makeup. Let's just go through. All right, so let's start off with some skincare. One of the most important things you need in the summertime, of course, is some SPF. We have the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen in Broad Spectrum SPF 40. This is a very straightforward form of sunscreen. You all need to protect yourself. When I was in Cabo, I did not reapply and I got super burnt and obviously one of the number one things you want to do for your skin in terms of skincare and not getting wrinkles and aging is to not get burnt by the sun. Summertime is really the time to protect your skin, but I know that sunscreen and face and makeup like do not mix well. A lot of companies don't make good sunscreens for the face, but this one is really awesome. Um, it's a very velvety texture. There's no stickiness at all, just goes into the skin so well. So if you're looking into a face sunscreen, a lot of them don't even have like SPF 40. So this is a really good one to look into. I actually have like five more Super Goop products to show y'all after I show you everything in the box. I really, really love this company. All right, let's move into the next thing. So here I have, ooh, from Costa Rx, this is the Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Overnight Mask. This is enriched with more than 85% of propolis extract. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and natural beeswax. So I think propolis, isn't that what bees eat? So it's like actually very good for people as well. Very nutrient rich. When you're in the sun all day, you really need something to help moisturize. Even if you're an oily person, I've said this many times, that I'm sure most of y'all know this, if you're oily, that doesn't mean that your skin won't get dehydrated. So a lot of times your skin will develop more oil to like overcompensate. So of course the best thing you can do is hydrate internally, you need to drink lots of water, but I personally love to do a lot of moisturizing masks as well. CosRx also makes one of the most useful skincare products I've ever used ever, and I didn't even realize it was gonna be in here. This is their Acne Pimple Master Patch. So this is one of those acne patches that you peel off and you stick onto your face. These are best for when they are already open, if you have like an acne or a pimple that has already opened up, uh, this is when I would use this one because it like collects or like draws out the sebum into the patch. It's like an overnight patch. This doesn't work on pimples that haven't like come out yet, but if you have one that's come out to play, you stick one of these on there and it really reduces redness, irritation. It's the same material that they use for like blister band-aids, I believe. So if you have one of those on hand, go ahead and stick that uh, on your face as well, I guess. But yeah, if you just want a very small, discreet guy, go for this. I really have to talk about these things faster because I have a lot of things to go to. So here we have French Girl Lumiere Body Oil in Amber. Let's smell this. I've never used this product before. That is just like a nice, warm, light scent. 
not too overpowering. I can really smell ginger in here. That's so unique for a body oil, I feel like. Yes, essential oils of ginger, vetiver, cardamom, frankincense. It's very light. So if you wanna go for a body oil that is not too heavily scented, and it feels really nice. It has argan oil, jojoba, sunflower, primrose, all really good stuff. Coconut oil. Yeah, this is very chic. French girl is a good name for this. This is an Ico product I have never used. This is a mascara off eye makeup remover wipe. It removes waterproof mascara and smoky eyes. Ico eyeliners are so dark, pigmented, and they're really long lasting. So I'd imagine these are some pretty good wipes to take off their products. There's 10 pure cotton wipes in here. They're a nice size. I actually like uh, makeup wipes that are not too large sometimes, good to travel, so I'll definitely take these with me to Japan. These are Mall & Goats products. Uh, they're all little mini travel ones, so we have a grapefruit face wash, vitamin E face wash, bergamot body wash, vitamin B5 body moisturizer, peppermint shampoo, and the cilantro hair conditioner. I've used a lot of Mall & Goats products, and I really like them. Uh, they're great for sharing between you and your partner as well because if they do not like certain scents, I feel like everyone likes Mall & Goat scents. They're very straightforward and very refreshing. And then I have one more Mall & Goat's product which is their Eucalyptus Deodorant. I have been in the market for a natural deodorant because I currently use Dove and I'm trying to do natural for certain products, especially when it comes to body products. I know I need to go a little bit more natural with my deodorant, so this maybe could be, ooh, it's interesting. I love the smell of eucalyptus. Uh, for my laundry, I put eucalyptus oil in the dryer. So my stuff all kind of smells lightly of eucalyptus, so maybe my underarms can smell of it too. <laughs> Last skincare thing, and then we're gonna go into hair. I have this Tony Moly hand cream. Ooh. Tony Moly really wins when it comes to packaging, as well as their scents. I love their like mango hand cream, the little banana one. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. This just smells like Sanrio gum. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I grew up like itching to go to Sanrio anytime I could when I was a kid and buying that gum that runs out of flavor in like 30 seconds, they start chewing it and it runs out of flavor. And then like, if you keep it in your mouth for like half an hour, it starts to disintegrate. <laughs> um, but this smells exactly like that. And that is exactly what I want on my hands. We have two hair products. This one is something that I'm very excited about. This is by R & Co. It's a dry shampoo powder called Skyline. So I have a very oily scalp. I use the Bumble and Bumble Preta powder, which is a powder that you shake into your hand, you rub it in and it really seeps up those oils. I enjoy a spray dry shampoo, but that's more for like styling and for scent that really doesn't have like that much of a function for me. So this is very exciting because this is a product by R Co, which I really love their hairspray, is like my favorite hairspray. Um, so I guess you're supposed to shake gently, press pump halfway for smaller dose, spray on roots, not on scalp. I'm kind of scared because obviously I can't put it on my hair now, but maybe I'll try and put it in my hand. Ooh, oh wow. That really went on very gently. Ooh, it smells like their dry shampoo they have a dry shampoo called Desert Something and it smells so good. I'll just use it because I think it smells really amazing. <gasps> That's really exciting because I love this scent. This might be the thing that I am most excited for out of all these products, y'all. I'm not joking. So if I like it, you'll definitely be hearing about it. The other hair product that I have in here is by Away, which is their Wave Spray. So you can use this on dry or damp hair. You do it from root to tip and it gives you some nice volume. I'm interested in using this. I feel like my hair is very long right now in all one length. Um, after I get back from Japan, I'm gonna get a little trim and I wanna get it a little bit more layered up. So I think that's when this product would be useful to me. Like I mentioned before, there's a couple products from Ico. This is the Ico Sport Waterproof Mascara and their Sport Waterproof Eyeliners. I always like Ico. I don't know why I don't try their products more. I always enjoy using them. Ooh, this brush is cool. Oh, there's like little fibers on the mascara brush. 
very intriguing. Wow. This is also waterproof, obviously important for summertime because sweat can really affect your eyelashes. You don't want to be uh, going all the way down your face in black. I also have a wedding in Japan that I'm going to, so I'll bring this along with me because I don't have any waterproof mascaras at all right now for some reason. Ooh, this won the Allure 2015 Best of Beauty Award, so it must be pretty good. Let us go into the other side here. This is a smudge resistant automatic gel eyeliner. Very, very smooth. Why don't I apply that? And then we'll wait a little bit and see if it really is smudge proof. It also has like a little brush on the other end and a sharpener, huh. I have three ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. These are just so easy for on the go, especially if you just need to like wipe something on your eye. I am definitely like a one stop shop kind of person. I love colors that you can just put all over very easily. These go on so crazy smooth. I don't know how they created this formula. All right, so here we are. This one down here, oh my God, is Frog. The middle one is called Whittle. And then the top one is called Issa. Is this supposed to be Issa Whittle Frog? Is that, is that what's going on here? Oh my gosh, look at those. That's really pretty. Okay, let's test this out now. Uh-oh, you know what? I put on all that body oil right here, and then I put the eyeliner on top of that. So that's probably why that happened. This is the last item in Jen's festival box, but we also have a bunch more items to show you. This video is gonna be a very long one. This is an Ilia Tinted Lip Conditioner. I have never used this product before. It is called Dizzy. This is totally Jen, I should have known. This is like a light pinky coral color. Oh, it's actually more of an orange. Ooh, it is very moisturizing. It feels like it has like some shea butter in there. Great for summer, cause you know, my lips get real, <laughs> real dry in the summertime, especially if you're like, you know, doing the festival circuit. This box honestly has a lot of really great stuff. Jen, if you're watching this great job on curating all these products, I'm really excited to try them. But also, why did you never tell me about this R & Co dry shampoo? You know, I live off of dry shampoo powder, so we're gonna have a talk about this later. But anyways, let's dive into some of the other products that I got from Revolve, starting off with all the super goop items that I mentioned before. We got five of them here. Okay, so first, let's talk about some body stuff. So here I have the Superpower Sunscreen Mousse. This one is water resistant for 80 minutes. It's SPF 50. Super goop is really giving a lot of different options for sunscreen, so it's a mousse product. Ooh. Smells very lightly of sunscreen, but oh my gosh, I just got it on my lip. <laughs> but not overpowering. This is their most straightforward sunscreen product I have like in this bunch. They have a lot of other products as well. Uh, the other body one I have here is the Healthy Glow Sunless Tan. SPF 40, it's a gradual tan for face and body. I'm not sure if I should just be doing this on my bed. Oh, smells the same and it just goes on clear. I don't know if I just like spray that one part and it's gonna get tan. I'm sure it says it's a gradual tan, so I'm sure it's not gonna go like super tan right here. I am always really afraid of sunless tanners. I just feel like they're very intimidating to me. I don't wanna end up with like, you know, crazy like orange hands or something. So this might be a good option for me because I do want my legs to be a little bit tanner and also it has SPF 40 in there. So this one's a nice option. We also have a spray for the face. So this is the Defense Refresh Setting Mist with broad spectrum SPF 50. So this one you spray over makeup to refresh your UV protection. Ooh, that is a very nice fine mist right there. You need to shake this because it will mix the bi-phase formula and provide even distribution of makeup setting and UV protecting ingredients. Mm, I like that. Here we have a Glow Stick Sunscreen SPF 50. It says it has Amazonian oil to restore balance for healthy, radiant skin. Use as moisturizer to lock in hydration or throughout the day on cheeks, bridge of the nose, chest, and shoulders to keep your glow and SPF on. Oh, okay. So you push it up from the bottom. There's a little cap here. I'm gonna try and put it right here. Oh yeah, 
Nice little glow there. I can't really see because my camera's a bit far away from me, but feels nice. This was obviously the most like travel friendly, compact version of all these things. And it has SPF 50 in here. You know what? I'm not sure if I've ever seen like a solid stick sunscreen like this. Now that I really think about it, that has SPF 50 in it. It's kind of crazy. I don't know how they do it. Last super goop item is this Perk Up Lip and Cheek Treat Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 40. So it's like a little tinted guy here. Obviously very important to protect your lips too. Oh, it's just like a nice rosy hue. I would definitely use this like on the beach or at my pool because typically when I'm going to the pool, you know, I'm not wearing any makeup. Maybe I'll put on like a little bit of brows, but in that case, it is nice to put on like a bold lip a little bit or like at least a little bit of color, like a little tint. Something like, I guess, a more subdued version of what I have on today because I wouldn't be putting on like, you know, everything. I wouldn't put on mascara, but yeah, this is like a nice little option to have. You know what? I just realized that some of the items I got from Revolve are repeat items, like also in the box. So I just have three items left to show you. Here I have two items from Cover FX, and then I also have one more Way product. So let's just talk about this. This is their Rose Hair and Body Oil. I guess summertime is all about like oiling up if you really think about it. <laughs> Ooh, this has a really just nice light rose scent. Other than the R&Co product, this might be my favorite scented thing of the day. Oh, that is so nice. I just like could imagine getting out of the shower and just putting this all over my bod for sure. I actually have the most intense like body items with me right here, the two cover FX things. So let's start off with the larger one, which is a glitter drop by Cover FX. What is this color? It's in Lunar. Holy crap. <laughs> I've heard a lot about these products by Cover FX. I actually bought one for a Good Bad Trendy and I still haven't used it. It's like a goldy one, so I think these are really intense. How would I where that was that's just like a few drops. What? I mean, okay, it looks more intense when it's straight on like this, so like you can see the reflectiveness. But like, where would I apply this? Just like on my body? Or I guess it would just really thin it out? Okay, I see. I'm really thinning it out on my arm. And it's just like a nice sparkle. I don't even know if you can see this, but. Okay, it's nice, but like, it's still very intense. It's very like galactic kind of colors. I don't know if this is necessarily my gem. Ooh, but now I wanna put that other gold one that I bought all over my body, cause that would be really pretty. But this is very intense. What do you use this for? Please let me know. Cause I thought that people use this as like a mixing medium or whatever into their foundations, but that just seems kind of crazy to me if, I were to mix this one. Maybe not the blue one, but the gold one. Okay, and then the other cover effects thing, it's in a smaller one. It's a Shimmer Veil in Celestial. This is a pearlescent cream, perfect for eyelids, but can be used anywhere you want a veil of shimmer. Okay, it's like a, like a very light silvery purple. All right, y'all, that is it for my summer beauty haul. I know it's a little bit all over the place, but I hope you all enjoyed it all the same. Thank you to Revolve for giving me all these items. Of course, everything, including Jen's festival box, is in the description box down below. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. I love y'all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.